Hi everyone. We're going to sketch the graph of the polynomial f of x here. First thing we're going to do is determine the degree. Since this is not in standard form, we can just add up our multiplicities here. This is 2, 1, and 2. That equals 5. So our n equals 5. That's an odd number. And also, our lead coefficient here is positive. And we'll talk about this in just a minute. Let's go ahead and fill out our um, y-intercept. That's where our x is 0. So if you plug in 0 for every x, and you get 0 times uh, negative 16, that's going to give you 0. So 0, comma 0. Now, when um, to get our zeros, you're going to let y be 0. So that gives you a 0 here, a 1 here, and a negative 4 here. So for our 0, we have 0, comma 0, and we also have negative 4, comma 0. Both of these have multiplicity of 2. And for this one, our 1, comma 0, that's multiplicity equals 1. And we'll look at that when we graph. Our maximum turning points as you take your n minus 1. So we have at most 4 turning points. And uh, after we graph, we're going to determine where our y is negative and our graph of f of x is positive. So the next thing we're going to do right real quick is look at our n behavior. So we have odd and positive lead coefficient. So here we are, right here. Odd and positive. In our case, our degree is 5. So it looks just like this one, except it's a little narrower. Um, it's flatter in here, and then it shoots down faster. It shoots up faster here. And we really just care about our end behavior, which is this piece and this piece. So when we graph from left to right, we're going to start in quadrant 3, end in quadrant 1. So this is um, positive, positive, and quadrant 3 is negative, negative. And that's where you get this, positive, positive, negative, negative. This is quadrant 3. This is quadrant 1. And basically, it means as x... Uh, gets bigger and bigger from zero, so does my y from zero. So that puts us in quadrant one. Uh, as x from zero gets smaller and smaller, so does my y. That puts us in quadrant three. All right, so that would be negative infinity there. Okay, so let's graph this. We are going to be starting in quadrant 3, ending in quadrant 1. Uh, our x and y intercepts are at 0, 0, at 1, and at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have at most uh, 4 turning points. So, um, And we're not going to worry about min and max uh, exact values on this video. We're just going to estimate and just kind of sketch a curve. Just get the general shape of this polynomial. So we start up here and we go to uh, negative 4. This is this piece. Since this is a 2, that means we can't cross the x-intercept. Uh, we can't cross this line, y equals 0 line. So we make a u-turn and then this is the part right here. We're really not sure how far this goes down. But uh, we're, that's not what the video is about. We're just getting a general shape. Now at 0, we also have a multiplicity of 2. So that means we're going to make a U-turn again and come back at to 1. Now at 1, our multiplicity is 1. Since that's an odd number, that means we can cross. And so um, it does work out for our end behavior that we started in quadrant 3 and ended in quadrant 1. All right, let me plug in these points. This was negative 4, 0, and 1. Now, uh, let's see how many turning points we had. 1, 
two, three, this one's weird, uh, four turning points. So let's see, where is my f of x positive? Your f of x is positive, so we have y equals zero here. Basically, this is saying y is positive. So y is positive from one to infinity because it's above the y equals zero. So that's from one to infinity. Now, where is our y or f of x negative? Well, that's below this y equals zero line, which is this whole this whole curve here. This whole thing. So that's negative infinity to one. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.